All right, part two of the pricing structure. We also have price cards that you have on Trello. And again, this is 2017 price cards. And there's also the sale price cards. So the same kind of philosophy, this is the sale version. The regular version is the same without the sales slashed out. And this goes on top of the one that's there all the time. So whenever there's a sale, all you have to do is put this on top of the regular price card and then remove it at the end of the sales day. So super, super, super easy. Um, as far as the general philosophy of Cutco pricing, so our pricing structure is simple, but it's consistent and it's, it's unique, but it's consistent. So here's the general basics. The spring catalog comes out typically in February and runs through April. Usually they have the buy three, get the fourth free, and they have the 20 to 25% off the kitchen sets. There's a small catalog that's sent out with a limited mailing. In the summertime, there's a catalog that runs May through August. Typically, they again have the buy three, get the fourth free, and the 20 to 25% off kitchen sets. There's a very small catalog with limited mailing in this instance as well. And then in the fall, that's the big catalog time of year. So September through December is they have is when they have the sets on sale once again, 20 to 25% off. And the only time each year that some of the items will be individually discounted is from September through December. And that is the biggest mailing that we have. And I'll explain the, the, the uh, details in just a second. Um, items that are not discounted. So there are certain things that Cutco just does not discount. And it's a corporate decision for a variety of reasons, but they do not discount the Santoku style knives as they are a newer line in the Cutco brand. They do not discount cheese knives. They do not discount wood blocks and they do not discount gadgets in the catalog. So there's going to be several things that are discounted. None of those items that I just listed are going to be discounted at any time in the catalog. And then Cutco randomly does what they call power offers that are emailed out or highlighted on cutco.com. And an example of a power offer would be something like spend $99 and then you can buy a cheese knife for $49. So they don't discount the cheese knife by itself, but they will do what's called a power offer where if you hit a threshold that they set, you can then get a discount on an additional piece. We can also honor those in the store and we can honor any and all corporate discounts in the store. Now, as far as the pricing structure and how we handle price offsets and, and cost of living and inflation, we have a scheduled price increase every two years, and it happens at the end of August, right as we get ready to launch into the fall catalog. So it offsets cost and inflation, and it's typically just a few percentage points increase. So it's not a dramatic difference, but uh, you know, on an individual knife, it's not dramatic, but on the set, it could be a, a, pretty, a pretty good chunk of change. So uh, we have one this, this coming summer in 2019, then 2021, 23, etc. The blue bubbles are going to be out every day, and the red squares are going to be out for only when we have events. So the reason we don't put the red square sale prices out all the time or the individual sale prices when they're on sale in the catalog is because Cutco limits the discounts to Cutco owners. So only Cutco owners are supposed to have access to catalogs. So there are several thousand people that get catalogs, but not every mailbox. And not even every Cutco owner will receive a Cutco catalog. So it's not like Macy's or Bed Bath & Beyond where they send a catalog out to every single mailbox in the US. Cutco doesn't do that. We only target specific customers with the actual paper catalog, and then we only target people who allow us to email them. So not everybody's going to have access. Several thousand people will get an actual catalog, but that's it. Online, when you go online to shop for Cutco, you must be a customer and be logged into your customer account in order to have access to the discount prices. So if you're a Cutco owner and you just go onto cutco.com but don't log in, you will not see any sales advertised at all. Once you log in, you'll be able to have access to all of the discounts. And then in the store, we display the regular full prices all of the time except for events because of the fact that most of the people that come into our store don't necessarily have access to those prices. If they do, they will let you know. They will say things like, hey, I got a catalog. Or, hey, I got an email that says, you know, they talked about a sale. Or, wasn't this on sale online? So they'll say things that will prompt you to help the understand that they are 
able to get the discounted prices. And it says we can use discount prices in stores if needed to close the sale and obviously to honor those prices for the customer. So once again, it's a simple pricing structure. Um, it's unique, but it's simple. It's very consistent. There's a catalog throughout the year, but there are a little bit different types of discounts. But again, they're always very consistent with throughout the year what they do. So it's easy to follow when you're in the stores. There's no questions as far as what's going on. You will always know what's happening. But the general philosophy of the, pro of the pricing is we want to discount it only to customers who already have some. Once again, in the, there's a price increase every two years. You want to have the blue bubbles out every day and then red squares only for events because only Cutco owners are supposed to have access to those. However, in the store, we can match prices for customers who see it online and or who have a catalog. So there's the corporate Cutco pricing philosophy. Hopefully that helps. Have a wonderful day.